we got one more quiet day to go. Uh, tomorrow will be fine. Tomorrow will be like today. Just hot in the 90s, couple showers maybe on the sea breeze, and then Wednesday we cloud up and then get some rain and wind here probably Wednesday night into Thursday, and tomorrow would be a day kind of check out around the house. Get the old... Um, Something in the backyard, maybe some, maybe some pool stuff that could blow around in some wind. Maybe a garbage uh, pail, that just garbage can you want to get out of the wind. So just kind of clean things up on Tuesday, and then the weather deteriorates certainly Wednesday night into Thursday. We'll talk about the new 5 o'clock advisory in a sec. You look at that photo, that view, and you go, hey, how, how can the weather get so bad? Yeah, it's going to be a big change coming up. Not so much tomorrow, but by Wednesday, clouds will thicken. 93 degrees on our downtown Tampa Cam. We've had an east-northeast wind pretty much all day, and that's a land wind, so it really heats up. Talked to a couple of people that went to the Bucks game yesterday, and as I expected, it's tough. I mean, it's, the high was 93 on Sunday, and I always, I always tell folks, what's the analogy? The analogy is, imagine taking a lawn chair and sitting on your driveway in that chair for three hours in the sun. It's kind of the same thing. Except there's football in front of you, you can watch. But it, it, folks, you get to hydrate and, and take the, the shade breaks and get through it okay. But it was hot. 93 degrees on Sunday, 93 degrees right now. Showers moving to the west southwest, and they could increase a little bit in coverage. Tampa Bay South the next hour or two. Okay, let's talk about PTC number nine, which should become Helene. Maybe at 11 o'clock tonight. It's a little bit of southwest shear. But I think all signs are go. This is going to start intensifying. And, and all of the, the modeling, as far as the hurricane models we use, really all of them are showing rapid intensification. And some of the models really go bonkers with intensification in the Gulf of Mexico. And the official forecast from the Hurricane Center, which is usually conservative, is staying a little bit below some of that modeling data. doesn't mean the model is going to be right, but it goes to show you the environment in the Gulf with very warm water and a very low shear setup does favor rapid intensification. Right now, 35 mile an hour tropical storm. It'll get through the channel and then start moving up towards the Big Bend. Hurricane watches are up already down by the Keys. And I would expect there to be watches along our West Coast beginning as soon as tomorrow. Uh, now we have a Cat 3, but all of these numbers are below all of the modeling data and we'll see if the hurricane center kind of ups it a little bit tonight at 11 and then tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Now it's a cat three up in the big bend uh, that would be so that's Thursday at two o'clock passing well west of us. The problem for us is a couple things. We're going to be on the east side again as we usually are and it looks like as a storm gets into the Gulf it's going to grow in size. The width of the storm is going to be large. So a storm is not a line. It's not a point on a map. The weather extends out a big distance from the east, especially, and some of that is going to be over us. Wednesday night into Thursday, Debbie, I think so many storms have done this. You have a Debbie, Adelia, a long, um, uh, Hermine, a long list of storms kind of paralleling our coast that put us in the side with a lot of wind and a lot of water and some storm surge issues as well. The, the whole scenario is pretty clear cut. There's a ridge in blue over us and east of us. There's a trough over by Oklahoma and Nebraska, and the hurricane is going to move in between the high and the trough. And there's going to be like an open gap. And, and really, the exact track is going to depend on kind of the configuration of the high and how strong the trough is. But this is a high confidence forecast of a storm in the Caribbean that goes north and northeast. We just don't want to see a big bend to the right that would bring that center closer to our coast. And that's something that could certainly happen. I and mean, this is not like I'm telling you this is the exact track. This is the second advisory from the Hurricane Center. So we'll see how things play out tonight and tomorrow. Just a list of, of bullet points. Uh, should become a hurricane by Wednesday. Probability of a major hurricane making landfall in the Florida Peninsula, I should say panhandle, is increasing, and the hurricane passing off our west coast can cause significant storm surge, and a small track changes will likely result in big changes in landfall point. We talk about this a lot. Storms paralleling our coast, little shifts in the track end up exaggerating the potential landfall spot. 
Mostly clear tonight, 76. The heat is back tomorrow. Maybe a passing shower, 94. We cloud up. There'll be some rain late in the day on Wednesday. And then the weather on Thursday, not great. With some wind and tropical showers continue Friday and Saturday. There's a lot to go talk about in the days ahead. you got to pace yourself. Uh, have your hurricane preps ready.